Yeah, good morning. So I came in from dropping the off at school and I lit my candle like I normally do. I still do that. Although I have to say, I don't always do the entryway because I don't even want to leave the house and forget. Although I've never left the house and forgotten, have I? I have gone to bed and forgotten before, but that's a whole different story. And we give God all the glory that nothing bad has ever happened. Anyway, if you're lighting candles in your house and you know what I mean, just make sure you're double, triple, quadruple check in before you walk away because what and how. I'm gonna show you this package that I got in because it's my second purchase from Shop Koi. They're Gunyan brand. She's based in Chicago. Chicago, as we would say it. Chicago, the, the C is G. You know what I'm saying? And I've gotten earrings from them in the past. I love the earrings in St. Lucia. They're so cute, these drop type earrings. These, I don't even remember what I got. I know I got a bangle. Let me see. First of all, the packaging is so stinking cute. Well done. Just love that. She's got some good. Ooh, I forgot I got these. Oh my gosh. So cute. Yes. Earrings. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Black Gunyan own brand. You just got a little bit in, in, uh, in transportation. Ooh, but they're gonna go right here. Ooh, yes. Imagine this with all white on. Stop. Don't even talk to me. Love it. 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 On the model, it looks like this would be a hoop that goes. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying. But this is more just put it on and then it's a circle like this. Anyway, very, very beautiful. I'm looking at it well and it is very well made. Not, not flimsy at all. Very, very nicely done. Love, love, love. Oh, this is so worth it. Oh, I just ri okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to contact her. Oh man, I was just saying. Oh, so well made. All this, which I mean, I, I just looking at it, it is well made. It just looks very, very good. But somehow, some way, oh, one of the pearls came out because it's right here in the bag. I'm looking like, what is this? Yeah, it fell out. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna holla at them and I trust that they gonna make it right. You feel me? Oh, that's so annoying. Hopefully it's not a sold out situation. Okay, what is this? Ooh, I'm like, what is this? A necklace again? I, I don't know what I bought. This is just so nice. The velvet of these bags. Girl, so well done. Yes, I got this huge bangle. Oh my God. It's called the Afro Bangle. What? Talk to me nice. Wow. It's not too heavy where it's annoying, but it's heavy where you feel, okay, I know what I paid for. Oh, here's my receipt. Hang on. The bangle is 65. Pearl earring situation is called Lakai. Gold pearl earring varnish. It's 60. And then I have another earring I'm going to show you. Oh, no. Oh, Debbie, Debbie. These earrings I just showed you are 59. Those are wow, wow earrings. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. This is so cute very statement very don't talk to me if you do talk to me nice you feel what i'm saying wow very you know like i like it i like it it's very big mm -hmm. statement wow wowzer this is so cute okay and then i got these other bangles oops this is just such a cute box love black owned again gunyan owned brand in chicago Chicago. Oh, I forgot. Of, yes. Look at these earrings. Shit. <gasps> okay, now these ones I just dropped. <laughs> okay, well, thank God nothing's wrong with them. Again, so cute. I love white. White and gold on brown skin. So delicious. So check these out, okay? They just go right in. And I love the matte gold finish. Just very, very beautiful. Ooh, so cute. Just so cute. And I see that I can widen up the spikes if I wanted to. Yeah, because it's bent a little bit from just being in the packaging, I suppose. Oh, yep. So you can just open them up a little bit if that's what you want to do. And I'm going to do that on this one because this one isn't as wide as this other one. So, 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 so cute. I love them. I love. So yeah, we got some similarities. You feel me? I didn't even realize when I bought them, but I love them. They're both different and why not? Okay. That is my Shop Koi haul. Oh, so, so stunning. 
Love it. I'll link these below in case you want to grab them. She has some really, really great stuff. I want everything. There were these other bangles that I wanted to get, but I got that big, huge one now, but they just look like little knockers and they're unisex. I wanted to get those. And there were other things too. They have necklaces as well. I don't change my necklaces. So I didn't get a necklace. However, I do want a big statement necklace. I'm just, I'm building up my, my jewelry assortment. You know, some stuff, yes, it's very fast, easy, whatever, but I want some more fine people. Oh, this is not, this is not 18 karat gold. When I say fine, I mean more well -done designed, last you longer, well thought out, good, great material type stuff like this. So little by little, honey. I also got a restock in of my favorite lashes and I decided to get a few other styles because why not? Oh, not this being too difficult to open. I'm so annoyed. Oh, and I got to show you these shoes. Hold on. These are some good old Amazon dupe versions of the YSL sandals. Now I should put them on, shouldn't I? Mm, you want to see my toes? I did paint them cutely. Did I show them to you already? I painted my toes gel. You know how we do it at the crib and stuff. But this is the Amazon version of the YSL ones. And I got them also in plum. But those don't come till God knows when. I think sometime in September. But these are really cute. I love this color. A nice caramel situation not exactly nude but kind of i mean whenever we call things nude we're really talking about people like you should talk about something like this a blush color okay this could be nude it's not as dark chocolate but still cute you know it's amazon so it's not gonna be perfect you feel me but even once i step down it's gonna be all good i kept the paper on the inside to keep the form so those are the shoes you're seeing way back here if you saw them where my scissors at i can't stand it but yeah i buy my lashes from aliexpress is it aliexpress yeah i i, I almost forgot aliexpress because they're mad cheap i like the amazon one for you because i find that people feel skeptical about buying stuff from aliexpress and you know i understand what's what you want to do is what you want to do these are my old faithfuls every time i do my lashes i'm wearing d22 these are the very thick voluptuous voluminous lashes that i love to wear right emphasis on i everyone should do what they want to do if you love a good demi wispy please wear the wispy you know i think everyone should always do what the hell they want to do okay and here's another big container of lashes i buy them in bulk i mean i'll buy 10 20 at a time so that i just know that i have what i need and i got different Okay, so this, yeah, different styles. So this is A, O, S, ah, uh, see? No, it's too short. Um, I'm giving these away. This is A, O, 7, okay? They're just too short and too, they're not voluminous enough. They're short. It would look like I don't have anything on. In the picture, I thought it was something that I could make work, but no, and these are about two bucks a piece. So no, those are no. And then this is A, oh well, see, I like my lashes long. So this is A, 10, this could work except they're too thin. I mean, I would find myself putting mascara on this. They're just too thin. They are nice and long. I could see myself wearing this without makeup. Like I went and got my lashes done type look, you feel me? But nah, like makeup is done. Oh, and I saw these D21 and I saw how it was light to thin and I thought, oh, this would be cute, but they're not long enough. I make my lashes be longer, not so curled up like a C. I want them more out you feel me okay i'm gonna get those away and then some more a10s these are cute but i feel like they need to go on my face without makeup when my makeup is done i need drama okay i need the drama i like the drama i like what i like oh man i didn't get enough of oh d21 these are shorter so i like d22 this is d21 they're just short the swoop is so short crap i need to make another order oh and then i ordered d23 i just wish it was longer i'm fine with the thickness i just wish that it was longer dang it i need it to be more straight out what else did i have in here d20 oh they're too short i don't like how short they are i need it longer i'm annoyed i bought so many thinking oh i'm gonna like these no this is why i stick to what i okay let me compare to you you see the length I just want them longer. So this is what I normally wear. And this is what I was thinking. This is D20. No, not gonna work. I mean, A10 is cute. A10, FYI, if you are ever interested. These are cute. They're just too natural. I mean, uh, let me hold on to A10. I might change my mind and one day, just feel like putting them on, but the rest are no. Dang, yo. That's like $25 wasted. I could have got me some oxtails <laughs> for that price. Oh, that's too bad. These are D20. 
I wanted to try the thin to thick, but they're just too short. I need them longer. Ooh, well, I'm gonna be giving these lashes away. Who do I give them away to? Any and everybody. You just comment. Oh, you gotta have a US address. If you live internationally, just have a US forwarding address. Comment like you normally do. We tap you on the shoulder, have you send us your shipping information, and then I go from there. I have a stash of where I put stuff that I'm going to mail. I only restocked on four of mine. I was so convinced that I was gonna like these. I was so convinced. Oh no, I need to order more lashes. There's just no way. Okay, anyway, yeah, so. Dang, let me add these four. I need more. Add it to my little stash over here. This is not organized, okay? I mean, it is kinda. You know, candles, makeup, makeup. This stuff I just want to use, have not used, don't know when. I just don't even look there. Just don't even bother. Hey lady, how are you? Hey, hello. Okay, that was so good. I talked about this before and I wanna just reiterate this because although it could be expensive to think about what I pay for accounting services, contractors, what have you, these are all purchases that are, or cost of doing business. Look at me lounging back. It's cost of doing business and they're important costs. And truthfully, it's easy to feel like, oh, this is a lot of money. I don't wanna give this away. I don't wanna spend it on that. That costs too much. What if rainy day happens, what have you. But spending money has helped me to make more money. So spending $1,000 a month for an accounting and bookkeeping service and then spending X amount of money for to build up my team because we don't always realize that you need to have a team in order to do well. You have to scale. You have to add on people to help you get further because why am I spending 20, 30 hours a week or 15 hours a week editing all of these videos when I can pay someone else to do it to give me more time to make more content, to make more money. You feel what I'm saying? So it just, when you start to think like a business person and then run your company, like a company, like a business, things change. The tie changes, a shift happens, and it's just it's just so much better. It's just so much better. So, you know, that is that on that. Well, we went longer than usual, which is so funny. We were just we went off into a different area. I, I'm very pleased with my accountant. I'm very pleased because you know, if you've been here for a while, you know the ish I went through last year, which was just so 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 bad. I was scammed. I try to I try to say it lightly because in my head I'm thinking is she okay? I mean, no, seriously, you scam me, in my opinion, but are you okay? Like, are you alive? Are you, are you well? Because I don't know what happened to you now. You feel me? So, look, whatever. And some might be fun, like, don't have any sympathy for her. She, she did you wrong, which is true. But, you know, as a human, I'm thinking, you know, where are you? Like, are you, are you, are you actually okay? Because what I'm wondering is, are you okay physically? But also, are you okay? Are you well? You know, are you well up here? Because wait, Disney wasn't nice. Anyway, we give God all the glory because God will always provide, sustain, increase. In the name of Jesus. I gotta get in the carpool line. Yo, this day already went by so fast. How? I'm gonna go film one video. One quick reel. Can I? Well, I have. What's that? Oh, my makeup sponge. Ah, this cream by Hana Hana Beauty, which is a Ganyan brand, also. Second Ganyan brand in this video. Let's shout out. Love it. Oh, so creamy. Smells like chocolate. Just delicious. Is the other ones okay? This one's amber vanilla. I love it so much. Oh, it just smells so good. All right, let's open up some PR boxes. I just went and got my packages, so let's do that. All right, now I use these clear bags. I think it's 90 gallon. I get it from the Amazon. So if you are a creator where you just get a lot of <laughs> a lot of packages, I'm laughing because even ladies will be buying a lot of stuff. If you get a lot of packages, grab one of these. This is huge and it fits so much stuff. So I'm gonna use it. I'm trying to think of where to put it, put it here because then everything goes in there and then the garbage people don't get angry at me. Cause I used to be in, in huge violation of the recycle. I didn't know how to recycle. Growing up, we didn't recycle. All right, let's see who this package is from. It's been a while since I've been unboxing. If y'all like these, let me know. I normally just unbox it on my own and go find somebody to sit down. What is this? Oh, Beekman, Renault. Okay, here's the package. What we got? I have some, <laughs> this is cute. Kindness. 
That's a kindness prescription. That's cute. I have some Beekman stuff I need to actually try. Uh, There's so many things to try out. This is available at Ulta and it is Advanced Better Aging Cream. So this is supposed to strengthen and firm the skin. Okay. It's a Advanced Better Aging Cream. So I think this is an evening cream. Let me give it a sniff. It's probably unscented, which is cool. Okay, just lightly, lightly, lightly scented. Thank you, Beekman. Beekman1802, that's the whole name. Awesome, can't wait to try this out. Ooh, Givenchy, Prise me libre. What you got for the people? This already looks so cute. Is it more powder? Okay. Four color loose powder, even more blur. Oh, it's a mama and a papa. Okay, it's the same one. Okay, I have, what, what did I do with mine? This is, oh, I don't, I've not had this shade. Organza Ombre. I don't recall ever having this one. Okay. And then we have an Organza Ombre Mini. That's cute. So it's a quad powder. And when you mix all of them together, oh, the cap is different. They've reformulated this, I think, or at least repackaged. And when you put them all into here, you put it onto your face and it's supposed to look really good. This, because of the shade being darker, when you mix this, it's gonna be darker. I'll put this on my face, but not to set my highlight, because it would just look crazy. And it comes with a cute Givenchy puffer. Thank you to Givenchy. Wow, wee oui, wee, oui. hi. So yeah, this is a new shade available at Sephora as of August 16th. It's designed for all skin tones and types, interesting. The four quadrants work together to color correct and illuminate and to blur. Love that. Lip Tinted, I haven't gotten a package from Lip Tinted in a minute. Oh, it's a blush. Ahem, <clears throat> your cheeks are flirting. <laughs> That's cute. Crush, let me not use my fist because I want to break a nail. Crush here for your perfect flush. Okay. I'm going to just open this. I'm done. Okay, so they have liquid blushes. We have four shades for blushes. This is infatuated. This is magnetic. Love language. And emotionally unavailable. Oh, I just mixed it in. I missed that last color with the other one. I'm so annoyed, but that color looks so pretty. It just wouldn't, I know that it wouldn't show much on me, but it looks so pretty, emotionally unavailable. I love that mauve type color. If you're more fair toned, I think these would be beautiful on you, at least for me. If I highlight for my blush to look, even today's blush is not good enough. I need more. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I need more. I'm not even doing enough blush. Oh, that's irritating me. These are 22 bucks at Ulta. These are really beautiful. These are really pretty, so thank you, Lip Tinted. You can get these at Ulta. I used to see so many ads about belief on YouTube. I don't see many anymore. This is the Wake Up Call for Tired Eyes True Cream Aqua Bomb. What? Aqua Bomb for... Okay, Aqua Bomb Eye Gel. All right, I've always seen, and I'm, I'm sure you've seen this. Come on, let me know. You've seen the belief Aqua Bomb for the face, but this must be new, and it's an eye gel. Ooh, okay, I look forward to using this because of the applicator, although, oh, it is cold. Okay, because I'm thinking the silver ones, like the one I have right now with Innisfree, it's almost done. It's silver and it's a roller ball, so when I apply it, it feels cold. But this, though it is white, it, it's some kind of material that feels cold, which is nice. So it will just, it'll just add to the whole experience when you're applying your eye cream. It visibly reduces the appearance of dark circles in eye bags, yes. Okay, cool. Cannot wait to use this. Thank you to Belief for sending this. Luxitan. I can't always tell what the company is by the box, but this one says it on here. I love Luxitan. Oh my gosh. What y'all send me? What's, what we got? Rep reparation? I don't, what? Reparation? Mm -mm, I can't. I tried. Anyway, intensive repair cream. Yes. What? Wait, is this for the hair? Oh my God. I thought this was like a body care item because I have so many body care items for them. Is this new? Anti frizz serum. Are they doing hair? Have they always done hair products? Oh, and it's a scalp, scalp massager. I've not known L'Occitane to have hair products. Come on, let me know if you knew that. <laughs> or am I just, you know, just now coming into stuff? I've never heard of that. That is so cool. Thank you for sending that. Pure sent an eyeliner and mascara to me. I have so many mascaras, it's crazy. And mascara is one of those things that take a long time to get through. So I have a lot, okay? Ooh, biocharged mascara. Let's see, I like to look at the wand to get an idea. This looks like it could be good. I mean, you don't know until you try it, right? Anyway, thank you for sending. Pixie Beauty, stay sending the kids stuff, I tell you. And I've been getting stuff from Pixie for a minute. What are they sending today? Lip balms, okay, a lot of tinted lip balms coming around the mountain. 
Okay, we got a clear. And one thing about me, I be holding on to these lip balms because I don't like dry lips. Oh, look at that. Oh, it has a minty scent. Okay. It looks like a blush. Think of the Huda blushes, literally. It looks like that. This is Passion. Wow. And this is Nectar. Darker than I expected it to be. They all have that semi-mint scent to it, which is cool. Thank you, Pixie. Ooh, what is this? This is heavy. Ooh. This is cute. Luxie Bells. Lux Bells. You like the bells? I don't know. I think I'm saying that wrong. Okay, we got some self care stuff. Okay, we got some. Ooh, is this a. Uh... Ooh, the package smells nice. It's very eucalyptus. Oh, it was leaking. Oh, no. Okay. We have Coco Goddess Body Oil, Fairy Mysteries Body Oil, and this one says True Love's Course. Oh, a lip gloss. I love lip products. I have so many, like I said. You can never have too many. Because one thing I don't do is dry what? Anything. Not dry lips, not dry hair, not dry body, nada. Okay. This is a nice light shade, a nice light lip gloss shade. Okay, so each oil has a matching body butter. Okay, I'm gonna smell. Ooh, this smells good. Like milky. Loves True Love's Course it smells milky. Ooh, Coco Goddess, I can already tell. Mm, has a little mint to it. Huh, interesting. I thought it was I thought it would be more more chocolate. You feel what I'm saying? What we got Fairies Mis Mischief. What do these names signify? Ooh, I like this one. Is it lavender? It's very refreshing. It's very refreshing. I like this one. Oh, it's a bath bomb. I have not taken a bath in too long. Gosh, I need to take a bath. Oh my gosh, okay. And we have two bath bombs. No. Ooh. Ooh, thank you. Thank you to Lux Bells, right? Yeah, Lux Bells. I don't know how you pronounce it. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But thank you for sending. Olaplex, something, something to the kid. Ooh, oops, let me not fuck you off. Let me not uh, cut into this whole box's life. Hello, what in the world? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo. <laughs> Yo, it'd be too much sometimes. She's stunning. Who is this? Wow. She is, she is stunning. The number four bond maintenance shampoo. Number five, bond maintenance conditioner. You gotta maintain these bonds, honey. And the number three, hair perfecta. But yes, at home salon quality hair care, yes, honey. Need all of it, cause you know I be washing my hair a lot. So thank you, Olaplex. Wait a minute. You wanted to send up a pair of our best-selling shorts with a personalized touch. Hope you love them. That is so funny. First of all, you can save, if you shop at Vici, okay? You can save with Minna Save 25, okay? Minna Save 25. Oh my God, I hope these fit me. This would be so tragic if they don't fit me. <gasps> There's no stretch. And these are the best selling ones. Oh my God. Please let this fit me. I have on a, a romper. I would put it on right now. This is so cute. I mean, width wise, it looks like it'll fit because you know I have a lot of I have a lot of area to cover. You know what I'm saying? And I just love this. That is so cute. But granted, I don't want everybody when I walk around everybody know my name and stuff. But I'm gonna wear it. Ooh, these are gonna be coochie cutters too. Look at them. They gonna be cutting the coochie. <laughs> Bitch, y'all messy. Y'all can't do this with y'all. This is cute. It has very nice detailing on the side this is the best selling shorts love it anyway all these products will be linked down below by the way too if you want to take a look at this i gotta try these on if i tried it on right now i wouldn't have a top on and this ain't that kind of party fleur okay i bet is this heavy cream <gasps> is this heavy something just dropped it just made me, it, it made me nervous if this is heavy cream i'm gonna be so excited i've been seeing this all over social and i'm like i want to smell heavy cream is this it oh it's a different one Okay, it says coconut skin, caramel skin. I've never heard of it, any of these. Oh, okay, heavy cream is in here. Okay, it's three. All right, I didn't know that any of this would be happening. So we have three. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. All right, okay, okay. okay we're going to sniff them right now. Okay, wait, they're giving us. Oh, okay, these are for stickers. I'm like, wait, why are you giving us instructions on how to spray fragrances? Like, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Caramel skin. This is Caramel Skin and, okay, these are hair and body fragrances. Already sprayed my hair, it smells so good. Listen, if you do this, you'll get a whiff of your hair. <laughs> 
And you have to know this because your hair smells, other people are smelling it, okay? I sprayed my hair today, so I'm not gonna put on my hair because I already have rolls of No Man's Land by Byredo on my hair. Breathtaking love. Love the warmth of that scent. Okay, so caramel skin is decadent, deep, full of warmth, deliciously sweet. Wow, it's bold. Caramel, brown sugar, vanilla, bergamot as brightness, creamy sandalwood musk. <gasps> It's a gourmand. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna spray. I already have fragrance on, so I'm gonna just spray this paper. I drenched myself in honor and glory. You know I love honor and glory. Ooh, wait, I sprayed too much. Ooh, this is good. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh, I sprayed too much. You know how Miss be doing. Mm -hmm. It got really, it just got right through me real fast. This smells good. Mmm, very caramelly. You gotta love caramel. I love, I love milk. I love sandalwood. I love musk. I'm not a huge caramel lover. You feel me? I love brown sugar. I mean, this is a paper after all. And I have stuff on me. I like this a lot. I just don't love it because I don't even eat caramel. You feel me? So that's the only thing that's making me like, uh. You feel what I'm saying? It's not that it's terrible. It's just not my thing. Now, I'm gonna leave heavy cream for the end because people have been talking about it a lot and I feel, like, I feel like I'm gonna love it. Okay, this is called Coconut Skin. This is Coconut Skin and it is a free gourmand. There's a burst of coconut, caramel again, gelato, sheer white florals, coconut. Okay, let me just smell it. I didn't mean to be like, uh, but I, I like caramel, but I, I don't, I'm not in love with caramel. I'm just not. Okay, let's spray this paper because I don't have any skin that's available. Okay. I like this. Yeah, I love, I love this. I love the fruitiness of it. Yeah, the coconut, the fruit, yeah. It's very vacation, yeah. I like this, yes. Oh, I like that one, okay. And now, for what I've been wanting to smell because of like, one world, why does it say coming soon? This says heavy, heavy cream, is this not what it is? Oh, cause it's not out, okay. Well, it ain't out until August, wait, no, it's been out. Why is it coming soon? They've written coming soon on here. Anyway, it's already been out, excuse me. This is a gourmand, bright citrus, luminous florals, velvet dream, sweet, silky, and it's, uh, like I said, it's a gourmand. Let's spray the actual paper. I'm excited about this. Well, wait. It's not, I mean, I like it, but I'm not, I'm not over the moon. These, when you spray, they're so strong in the beginning. Ooh, it's like in my nose too much. I like it. I, I can smell the lemon for sure. It's just not what I would ex have expected for a heavy cream. I was thinking coffee, you know, cream. It's got marshmallow, orange, coconut cream, salted caramel. Maybe it's the caramel. I'm just not a caramel person, you feel me? Maybe that's what it is. I mean, I like it, but I'm not, I'm not head over heels. These are nice, they're worth a sniff for sure. Thank you, Fleur, for sending. I love me a good Fleur scent, okay? You might love these more than I do. Sniff them and let me know what you think. Oh, oh, American Eagle. Coco Goff, is that how you say it? Yeah. Did I pick, what did I, I was expecting this, but I forgot all about it. Oh, First fashion collaboration with American Eagle and Coco Goff, it's a denim collection. Ooh, in store is August 19th. Oh, what is this? How cute is this from Catbird? Is this an anklet or, oh, it's an anklet, aw. That is so cute, thank you. Ooh, there's something else from Catbird. What's on? I almost didn't see this. That is, oh, and the anklet has an M for Minna. That is the cutest. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. This is so cute. Okay, it's gonna be an oversized jean jacket on the kid. What does it say? Thank you to the people who didn't believe in me. <laughs> You better let them know. <laughs> Thank you to the people that didn't believe in me. For real, straight up. Thank you to all of you because look at me. Look at me now. Look at me now. 
what you better go ahead and thank these people let me go ahead and throw this on i can see this with a hoodie you feel me in the winter time wow i can't believe that a medium is so big on me how am i a size small just to see me as a size small is crazy to me. This is, ooh, what I didn't realize. This is actually soft. Oh, I like this. It ain't no stiff jean jacket. It is soft. I like how soft this is. It's bendable. It's, it's oh, and it has stretch. Ooh, I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. <laughs> I like this. And I got a zip. Thank you, Coco Wolf and the team, because I like this. You feel me? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Now, why you gotta go and do that, love, huh? Uh, now, why you gotta go and do that and do that and do that and do that? You feel me? I like this. I'm excited about it. Okay. Thank you to all the people that did believe in me. Because <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Look how cute. I love this jacket. Oh, I like how comfortable it is. Yes, honey. It's a fragile. I'm over here opening it like it's a freaking. Ooh, from Gala. <laughs> talk to me nice and don't talk to me at all. Oh, ooh, a bottle of champagne. Oh, what we got for here, Gala? What she trying to do to me? What she trying to say to me? And what she trying to do to me? How cute is that? What she sending to the kid, though? What you want from me? <laughs> Just ask me nicely. What is this? Ooh, is it a fragrance? Ooh, two fragrance? Whoops, let me not get ahead of myself. Hold on. Okay, we got skincare. I had to read it well. Like, wait, what? Galan, yes. Ooh. You know I be using, okay, National Honey Bee Day. <laughs> we got the Abiel Royale Cleansing Care in Mousse. And then we have the Advanced Youth Advanced Youth Watery Oil. You know, I've been using this to shave my face. So, let's see. Okay, so this is an elixir that nourishes the skin. This is an elixir that nourishes the skin. Thank you, by the way. Love this. And then I've never used this cleansing care in mousse. Ooh. Cleansing care in mousse. So, how do you use this? Care in mousse. What? Rinse off cleanser for the face. Okay, so it's a face wash. <laughs> yeah, they be doing a lot of things differently in France. Rinse off cleanser for the face. It's a face wash. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to get a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, do I need to go pop this right now or what? What we got? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, -hoo. organic French bubbly. Oh, 0% <laughs> alcohol. Juice. Is it juice? <laughs> Hold on. Five grams of sugar per pour. A mineral freshness ale with pear. Alcohol free. So it's a juice. Okay, well, that's great still. So. I'm over here thinking, ooh, I'm about to get some bubbly for tonight. Mm -mm. They said slow down. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Anyway, this is beautiful. Thank you so much to get along. Hi. We oui, oui. All right, that is everything. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't a lot of stuff. Okay, that is everything. Yo, so I forget where we left off, but anyway, right now I'm about to film yet another video. I've been filming and I was like, I should come on here and tell the people, hello. I have a few ways that I stay organized with my videos. So I can't really explain a streamlined way that I do it. I say this because I have a printout of what I'm gonna discuss right now. Do I always put all of my video ideas in Asana, which is where I printed this out from? No. But is this video and a few others in Asana with notes? Yes. Okay, so I'm about to do a video on my top long-lasting, best-smelling, affordable <laughs> fragrances and oils. It's not a long list, it's a short list, but a powerful list because if you had all these scents, you would be smelling good, engulfing every area you walk into, getting the compliments, the questions, the queries every single time you wore any of these and any combination of these. And I had the idea and then I put it into a sauna and I have a printer. I just love having a printer. I just It just sounds so funny whenever I say it because I feel like I'm a school teacher. <laughs> I have a printer, or I feel like I'm a student in school. I have a printer, I love it. So I like printing things out because yes, I love using my iPad, but there are some times where 
I don't be wanting to look at something electronic. I be wanting to see it printed out, and I just love it. And I use I use cardstock. I can't stand flimsy paper. It has to be good. So this is, I think, 32 or 34 pound. You can go higher. I remember when I used to print out my resume. I'm thinking corporate, corporate right now. When I used to print my resume, I would use the really, really good cardstock because that always made a great impression. You handed someone your resume, and it was on great, thick, quality paper. I don't need that kind of paper for what I do at home, but I still don't want no flimsy, cheap paper. I'd be returning it because I'm like, no, this is not what I wanted anyway. It's on some good cardstock. I have eight cents here that I'm gonna talk about. And I just set up my Canon R6 here. I have several different cameras. If you know, but you don't know, now you know. I'll link them below. And I just felt like using my R6 because it was here and why not, you know? So I have it set up. It's very, very simple. It's just on this tripod that I've extended. This is a tripod that I use when I travel, okay? It goes very short and it goes very tall. It, it can go taller, but I don't need it to be that tall. And then I've got my extender with, and then I got my roller mic, which I always use, the cord that's plugged in. I turned the camera on. Years ago, I used to be into all of the, I need a monitor to see myself. Now I just look at myself here, make sure that I'm in focus and I just talk to the camera. I don't do the whole TV monitor thing I used to. Every now and then I'm like, oh, I want a monitor, but it's not compulsory. I can still do my job without it. You feel me? I'm used to it. I'm used to doing the job without the monitor. So the R6 is on there. And then my lens for this, because I need some width, is the... What lens is this actually? Oh, a 28. Okay, I don't have a 24. Why did I think I had a 24? It's a 28. I've been calling this 24 all this time. I have a 28, I'm annoyed. Okay, that's my R6 with 28 millimeter and I have a remote for whenever I just want to remote activate and use a remote, hello? It's almost lunchtime. It is 11.15. I woke up today and I had a lot of things on my to-do list. I took it slow, kind of, sort of, but I'm still moving along, you feel me? So I worked out. I did a Sydney Cummings 30-minute workout. And then now I'm going to shower and do my hair. I haven't done my hair in a few days. And just get some makeup on. I'm on one campaign today for one campaign tomorrow. And I need to shave my face. When I do my makeup, I'm able to actually see the hair on my sideburns more than I need to, and I need to schedule another laser appointment, but here we are. I'm still gonna shave, I need to do that, and then of course, touch up my eyebrows, because I do shave all of that. I have some texture, because I have a breakout. Last night, I did my rosacea treatment, which is Curology, it has niacinamide in it. In case you're wondering, if you have a rosacea, let me know. This this treatment has zinc pyrithione, clinomycin phosphate, and niacinamide in it. So niacinamide is going to lighten up dark spots. Clinomycin is the topical antibiotic for the rosacea. And zinc pyrithione, I don't even know what that does. My concoction used to have tretinoin in it, and it's I just realized it, and I'm like, wait, where the heck is my tretinoin? So I messaged the provider on the app to be like, can you put that back? And what do we need to switch? Because I want that back. Because I worked out, not only that though, I do this anyway when I'm gonna shave my face. You wanna start off with a clean face. What do I have on? I don't have on SPF. Okay, good, I'm just thinking, what do I have on? I wanna really make sure my skin is clean. I wanna wash my face twice, okay. I'm gonna use this fresh soy face cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser, and the reason why I was thinking, because I'm thinking, I was sweating, I wanna really clean my skin well, but I also don't wanna agitate my skin because I have rosacea, and if it's agitated, I'll see this breakout be worse in one or two days, and I don't have time for that. So let me just use this gentle cleanser twice because it's a gentle cleanser. First of all, I love the consistency of it. It's just so... I haven't smelled this in so long, I had to smell it. It's just so good, and I can just tell that it's gentle. So because it's gentle, right, it's not gonna strip the skin at all, which is a great thing if you have sensitive skin and or just don't like for your skin to feel waxy clean after you wash your face. But because I just worked out, I'm like, I wanna really make sure my skin is clean but then again, I don't want to agitate it. So I'm just, I was just thinking out loud. Okay, so we're going to wash this welly, welly, well, you know. Very nice cleanser. Love this. This is actually one of my, one of my early top campaigns that I did. I'll never forget. I went and rented out a hotel room, had my photographer come in. We took some great pictures. I was so proud of myself. 
with this campaign. This was what four years? Was it four years ago? I don't even know. It's been a while. I was so proud of myself and I still am. And then I was featured on the Sephora website. And if you've been here for that long, then you remember when I remembered that I was on the Sephora site and then I went to the site to go look at the ad and I saw myself. Oh my God, I was so excited. I remember I was sending it to my family and my mom was so happy for me. Oh, I was just so thrilled. That was a huge deal for me, man. So I would, I will always have a special place in my heart for fresh. I mean, and I, and I mean, I stand by the, the cleanser too. I really love it. So good. Okay, one more time, and I don't need nearly as much cleanser the second time, but I did anyway. Don't we love that lather? I have a huge pimple right here. It's not as big as it was, but it's big, and it was annoying me. And then it gets itchy, so I'll be sitting there and I'll just scratch so hard, and I and I forget that it's the pimple that's itching me, and then it be hurting a little bit. Oh, it's annoying. I have this new product or this new product lineup from Murad that was sent to me. It's their acne line, which. I feel like it works really well because I used it. I used the rapid spot treatment one day, but I could not use it again today, and I will not because I'm gonna shave. And shaving is, an, an, is a form of manual exfoliation, and if I were to use that on the same day as shaving, forget it. I'm asking for trouble because I have rosacea. But if you don't, maybe you can, maybe your skin can tolerate it, but girl, go easy. And if you're still shaving, Comment and let me know if you've never shaved and you plan on giving it a try. Also comment and let me know. I love it because it makes my skin look so good underneath makeup. It be looking so smooth. All right, so while my skin is wet, I'm gonna hydrate it with something. I used to shave bare, bare face. What do you call it? Just without any product. But I stopped doing that because <laughs> I've seen people shave, even a dermatologist, with a product on her face. And I said, well, let me not let my skin be so daggone dry let me just shave with a product on my face and with the past several shaves i've been using this abiel royal ooh, royal youth ooh, ooh, making a mess youth watery oil and it's been fine when i got in my mouth a little bit <laughs> next time i'll drop it out to my hand now it does have a fragrance and i like the fragrance but if you don't then this is obviously not for you let me take some more. All right. I've got these razors from Kitsch. They're recycled plastic. I don't use a new one every single time. Do not use one that is used because it's just not going to work as well. And then for me, with my skin being sensitive, I don't have time for it to possibly break out because I used a dull razor. Now, I will use a dull razor to shave my brows. In between the face shave yeah because just a brow area but i don't be wanting that smoke when it comes to my face look at all this hair and no it doesn't hurt and i've been doing this for so many years so i go around my eyes very easily but if this is your first time doing it or you plan on doing it go very slowly and if you have acne go be careful around the acne because you don't want to cut it open so you may, you may actually decide that while you have breakouts on your face, you're not gonna shave until you can resolve them. Because this is not the sharpest blade that I've used, but I've used some sharp ones and you don't wanna cut open a pimple. Here's what I have so far. All right, now to the forehead. I do it, <laughs> I try not to make myself look like I have a lineup. I've mistakenly done that in the past where I'm like, oh, next time, let me try not to do that. And I'll show you how in a second. Of course I get right between the brows. I might be having some dead skin. I mean, I be having dead skin all over, but definitely in between the brows. So first, I try not to go too close to the hairline. That way it doesn't look so sharp, you feel me? And then when I go, I go like this. So 
whatever that means to you. Now with this, there's a potential if your razor is very sharp to cut yourself. And I've nicked myself a few times. As you can see, I nicked myself right here. And that was because I was just going too fast. Now, if you're gonna do this for the first time or you're still an amateur at it, just go slow. I'm going fast because I always do this. And if I nick myself, it just is what it is. And I know that this razor is not nearly as sharp as others that I've used. So I'm using that. So with that, I'm going faster than normal. When I realize that the razor is very sharp, oh honey, I'm going very slow. And the thing about this too is, as you make your way across your face, you'll realize, well, I mean, at least with this razor, that it's getting a little dull, which is cool with me. There isn't as much of a potential that I'm gonna nick myself, you feel me? This is a method of manual exfoliation is in addition to shaping the face, it's going to get off some of the dry flaky skin that's on the top that is just sitting there. Oh, my skin feels so smooth already. Yes, ma'am. And if I notice when I'm doing makeup that there's some areas that still have hair, I'll just shave it. But this really should have been everything. And this is all the hair for my whole face. First is the Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. So you apply this to your hair and then you can leave it in for a minimum of 10 minutes. It might not feel like it's doing anything in the beginning, but it's after you rinse your hair that you really feel that there's some sort of protection mechanism on the strand. And then I followed up with the number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. And all of these products are gonna repair, strengthen, and nourish the hair. I love having my nails on when it comes to wash day because my scalp feels so clean. Again, this gets very sudsy, feels really good on the hair. And then the last step is the Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance conditioner. Of course, I have to detangle my hair, make sure it gets all over every strand of my hair. And for the skincare routine, I'm choosing products that are not gonna be cumbersome, that are not going to break out my skin. So I started with hydration using the Prequil multi Quench Plumping Hydration Serum. This is going to, again, add some more water to the skin. See how I applied it on a wet face? Because I want to maintain the water content of my skin and then add some more. Then for eye cream, I'm using this new eye cream that I got from Belief and it's the Aqua Balm Eye Gel. I love the tip of it because it feels cold when applying it to my eye area. And it's a gel so it melts in very easily. And then to top it all off, again, very simple skincare routine today. The Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50, and this is a moisturizer and SPF together. It looks white, but with some more rubbing into the skin. It melts very nicely, as you can see. For body cream, I've always told you how much I love this Laura Mercier Serum Body Cream. This is the Scent Amber Vanille. It's a serum, so it melts and it absorbs into the skin so well. It's not gonna sit on top, it's gonna melt right in. And this scent is so good. And for deodorant, I'm using the Topicals Ingrown Hair Tonic. So it's a roller, it does not burn or sting. It's gonna help lighten dark spots and reduce ingrown hair. So it has salicylic acid in it, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc PCA. And those products are going to, again, break down the bacteria that is in the pores. It's going to eliminate odor. It's also going to exfoliate under the skin and help the skin to look lighter. So if you want to grab any of these products, they are linked down below. Or you can scan this QR code that's right here on the screen if you're watching on the television and you can get these products from my LTK. Some makeup I did my hair and I filled in my edges with the topic hair filler I talked about this whole time I love it you can make this look as thick and as natural as you want it to be I like it to look full because I dyed my hair black just to make life easier for me because my hair my natural hair color is a two when you're 
up close, far away. It can look like a 1B, but it's more of a two, and that was just too hard to match. And it just makes it easier when I'm putting in weave. Why not weave wigs? I don't really do weave, although soon I will be. <laughs> okay, so I've laid all this down. I can take this off now. It's been enough time. Okay, so hairline is corrected, and I got me a glass of champagne, because why not? Just FYI, this is how you hold a champagne glass. I know I used to do this. You might feel naturally that you want to hold it like this, or that you want to hold it like this. But in all actuality, you want to hold it this way. Because you don't want your body temperature to warm up your glass of champagne, because champagne is served chilled. Even if you have a red wine glass that is served at room temperature, you still don't want to be holding it like that. You want to hold it like this, so that you show that you have some decorum. You understand wine etiquette. And then also too, if you have on a colored lippy of any sort, wherever you sip your drink, Right, I have on chapstick so you don't, you don't see anything, but you can see a smudge. But even this, right? Wherever you sip your drink is where you wanna to continue to do what? Sip your drink. Because if you have on a red, pink, purple, orange lippy, and you sip here, and you're talking, chatting, 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 and then you sip over here, now the rim of your wine glass looks a mess. You look sloppy. Versus you've identified where your first touch was and where the smudge is. You're not gonna stand there and clean it. You're just going to stay in that same area whenever you take your sips of your glass. So you're gonna stay right in that area, sipping from that one, area okay and that is just some cute quick wine etiquette wine glass etiquette you know because as grown women these are things we need to know and i didn't always know it so since i know i had to share with you oh my gosh and i have my favorite protein chips these are keto i love the sour cream ones but what i have right now are these taco what is this loaded taco flavor mm -hmm. high in protein and low in carbs so let's chew on some of these And do some makeup. Do you still prime your lips? I prime my lips with the prime lip primer and it just gives a nice hydration to the lips. I've been seeing people doing the Vaseline thing or nothing at all and I don't know how y'all do it. I just need something and I have a new lippy. I actually did a swatch recently, these new Laura Mercier lipsticks. I swatched all of them. I don't even know how many there were but they were a lot and this is the shade Flame Chalice. Oh, I almost called it Flame Chills. It's called Flame Chalice. It's a very orangey red. I look forward to wearing this today so. That'll be cute. I'm gonna try this NYX Buttermelt today. I also got this new four color loose powder from Givenchy. So I'm gonna try this today as well. Got some newies. And then these cream eyeshadow sticks. These Le Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Colors. I swatched all these as well. We're gonna use one, maybe two of them, depending on the shade. Right, let's see if we can get some glow going. This is the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel Illuminator and the shade is Sun Glow. This is what this watch looks like. It could work, let's see. There is absolutely no need for the perimeter of my face to be glowing. That's just odd. I focused in the center and this looks really pretty. Wow, even on the forehead, it is really glowing. Uh, I'll link everything down below in case you wanna grab something or just take a look at it and learn more about it. I cannot get over this Gucci foundation. My shade is 540N and this is deep. It just looks so good. Ooh, ooh. And it's full coverage, so let's go ahead and get, and get this going. I like this Makeup by Mario brush, it's the F4, and I like this part to do my contour, but it just dawned on me, why don't I try to use fewer brushes by using this for my foundation and my contour? Now the thing about it, I just realized once I had already put this on, is that it's pretty fluffy, which tells me that it's gonna absorb the product more than I would like it to, but we are getting some spread. And the coverage on the foundation is just so good. This Gucci foundation, so good. And it's a satin finish, luminous matte finish, which is satin. It's not too dry. It's definitely not gonna be too oily. It's in the middle. But they call it a luminous matte. I know they gotta, be, they gotta be different, okay? That's cool, we'll give you that. Okay, yeah, this blended well. It just feels weird because I don't use such a fluffy brush when it comes to foundation. But this looks great. And now our canvas is blank, literally, no brows, nada, okay? And this is where we add in the dimension, which is the highlight and the contour. You already know, if you've already been here, you know the deal. All right, I have two concealers. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 Wear All Over Perfecting Concealer. I think they've, what? this is a matte concealer. I don't know if this is new or what, it's new to me. And then I've got this Estee Lauder Futurist Soft Touch. Okay, I don't want soft. 
Let's look at it though. No, let me do this for the brows. We'll see how that works on the brows. Now I already feel like this is gonna be mad light. This is the shade medium deep, 450 warm, the bare metals. Let's see, oh my God. It looks very, uh, it looks like orangey yellow. And when you have a shade that's questionable like this, take a little bit and see. I can make this work. I can make this work. Let's see, let's see, let's see some more. See how it really is just focused right here? I can make this work. I mean, off first rip, it looked crazy, but it looks like mustard. <laughs> wow. No, this looks like mustard. It looks literally like the, sh the color yellow. Not gonna drag it out to my hairline because there's no need. I'm gonna contour that area anyway, but secondly, there just literally is no need. So no need to do that. I'm blending the harsh lines by taking a clean side of this sponge to do so. so the majority of the highlight is gonna be right here in the inner part. I need to do my nails all over again. It's a new week and I just, I want them to be nice and fresh. So it's time to do them. The sides are peeling a little bit, which tells me that I did not cap the sides well with the gel and that happens from time to time and then i just note for next time to make sure that i cap it well like meaning bring the polish on the sides of my nails when i paint it. that's what i mean by that i can see that there was more here because i applied the side twice so let's make it match because i have the blinds closed it feels like it's nighttime but it's not all right this color does actually look good this is so odd i thought it was gonna be hideous in the beginning but we're making it work Okay, we blended it in or whatever. Yo, I had no idea that Love Island was on Tip Peacock. I did not know where this show was that everyone kept talking about. So people kept talking about. And I finally realized that I can actually log into Peacock. So I started watching it yesterday and just, wow. I mean, would I have ever gone on a show like this if I was mid twenties? I mean, maybe, because I was so misguided. I was so misguided at that age but then again no because it's not even my personality it's not her personality to do something like that that's just crazy to me uh-uh yeah it's not my personality okay i'm seeing this blemish over here and i'm going over with the concealer to in hopes that it covers this concealer looks good i feel like i'm seeing some hair is that hair underneath my eye or what i see some darkness i don't know i don't know where it's coming from this concealer is creamy, which is nice. It's matte and it's it's working nicely with this foundation, which is luminous matte. You would be nervous to put a matte concealer on top of a matte foundation because you just don't know what's gonna happen. But thankfully, this is interacting very well. All right, we are high lit. <laughs> I can't say highlighted. We are high lit right now, okay? Sip of champagne. That was all rough. Am I tipsy? Whatever. Get it together, girl. Let's get it all together. All right. We got to all go to LYS bronzer. You feel me? If you're doing your makeup right now with me, you gotta come and let me know. You're probably like, how am I gonna do that and also do makeup? Well, I don't know, girl. Speak to text or just stop and comment and then go back. <laughs> Cause I wanna know. I don't know how many of you are actually following along and doing this stuff with us or if you just like to watch. Maybe you're vacuuming, you feel me? Maybe you're vacuuming, you're doing your cleaning, you feel me saying? And you're watching along. This is the other side of this F4 brush from Mario. It's smaller. Let me use that. Although in the past I have done the bigger side. Well, let's use this. And yeah, it's a great size to just blend this out. I'm going over near where the blemish is i need some more i think i need more of the product let's see sometimes i take too much of this contour and sometimes i'm like where is it i need to go back again but i can take some from up here and bring it down you feel me and we are going to get into the hairline that's important it's going to look a little a little bit defined because i shaved but you know and then if this is looking too stark like bald i'll just go in with topic and fill that in so I do topic before I do my makeup, and then if I need to fix some things up, I'll do it afterward as well. Look at the hairline is just looking too faint. Cause you see, the thing, the thing is I'm adding a contour, so it will isolate out the area of my hairline that is thin. So that's where the problem comes in. If I filled in my hairline and did not do makeup, 
which always includes contour, then it wouldn't be that obvious. So you see what I'm saying? Without the makeup, this was fine, but now I feel like it hit the hairline starts too far back. So I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna go closer to the front. Just a little bit, and then the other sponge. Well, the, the tip is a sponge, and then we're gonna blend nicely. Yo, are you ready for this Sephora sale? The Sephora's, I almost said spring savings event. It's the, just the savings event that happens in the fall. Are you ready for that? It's so crazy to think that that's coming now. It's not coming tomorrow. We are, we're still in August, and this will be here later in the, in the fall. When is it? Is it normally October or November? Somewhere around there. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, oh, I gotta stop putting together my list based on stuff that I have. What is that? Oh, snap. Wait, what did I mess up on my face? I don't even know. Okay, good. My finger is blurring it. And then let's go back with this Huda Wishful. Ooh. Dang it. Okay, hopefully the blush covers that. What was that? I got something on here that was accidental. Maybe it was a contour. All right, I'm using the Huda Wishful Luminous. Not Huda Wishful, oh my God. Wishful, is Wishful even still out? That was canceled, right? This is Huda Luminous Pressed Powder. The shade is medium tan. But yeah, I, I wanna start making my list because you know I like to think of the stuff that I have already finished months ago. I should, I should be keeping a list. Things that I already finished months ago that I want, and then I'll just keep the list going so that I don't forget anything. You feel what I'm saying? And really and truly, instead of making a separate list, I'm gonna just put it in my wish list on Sephora's website because I have an account. Hello. And that'll just make my life a little easier. I still like the Sephora Micro Smoothing. You know that during the sale, when it happens, it's not now. These all Sephora collection products are gonna be 30% off. These are great. I mean, we don't use these enough. We don't we makeup, makeup artists, makeup beauty content creators don't talk about this enough, but I want you to know as a former artist, this is good. So Horror Collection has some great stuff. This is a shade Espresso. And it reminds me, I always say this, it reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. A very light product, but makes the skin look so beautiful. Uh, it's great to use by itself for a soft effect or the way that I use it when I do my full coverage makeup and I want to finish it all off. I'm gonna fix the contour in a second. I'm just doing this first. And I take a fluffy brush like so and just get it all over. I mean, there's some other products that I like as well, but I just wanna show y'all this because it's, it's an affordable option. This is a leftover product that I used. This was a contour. This is a leftover contour that I'm using to go on my jawline because I forgot to do that. And I'm gonna blend it all out. All right, and then as far as the contour is concerned, I don't feel like I need too much of this Rich 660N Elf Powder Foundation because my, look, I can still see my scar, so that's what you're seeing right there. I, something about this contour is very dark today, so no need to do too much. And my hair, something about this hairline is looking crazy today. What's going on? I think because I shaved my face. Because I shaved my face, my hairline's looking crazy. <laughs> It just, everything just looks very pronounced. I'm so annoyed. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, sometimes I'd be like that and whatever. Like it'd be looking like a, a Kim Kardashian lineup hairline. Do you see right here? <laughs> okay, I don't always get it right. And <laughs> like what? I don't always get it right, but I try. It's all good. It's all good. In case you're wondering, this brush is so soft and so good. This is a Patrick Ta for Contour 2 brush. I've never used this NYX Butter Melt. Is it? Oh, it's a powder. Okay, so here's the shade. Should I use my brush? Because if so, I'm going to use the same one, same side, because I do want it to blend with the contour. This is how the product looks. Start right here. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's looking ashy. Oh, this is ashy. The no, no, I don't like it. What? It looks ashy. I need to match the other side though. Oh, that's too bad. Oh no. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, absolutely not. This looks. This looks so bad. 
Oh, that looks so terrible. Okay, well, let's go in and save the day with my usual Dennis and Myrick's golden hour with my sponge. Now, how's this gonna look? Okay, I'm going right over this with a damp sponge and thankfully it's not gonna mess up my face. Okay, good. Leftover product on this brush. This is supposed to be the highlight. And I'm just doing this to blend, no harsh lines. I built up my crease and under my eye using eyeshadow colors from this Judy's Place Warrior II palette. So I mixed here, here, and here. This is what has darkened up my eye because I don't want it to be black. I want it to look like a dark brown, but as you can see, it's a gray because of that gray shade. Now this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color and the shade is Smoky Quartz. This, it looks like a silver, a silver brown in a way really cute and this is good if you are a beginner at eyeshadow and or just you just want things to be easy when you apply your eyeshadow now I want to smudge the line so that it's not harsh and then this is the brush that had that gray it had all the colors on it really and what with, with what's left over I'm just blending do you see so it just looks there and effortless in a way okay let's match the other side this is so pretty and I'm going three quarters of the way in because I want the outer part of my eye to have that darker shade. And I don't want to cut crease. So that's why I took this random brush, just any small brush. What is this? Okay, this is an e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just blending this back this way so that this is smudged. And then where the line, I'm on lefty, where the line is, I'm blending over it. Leftover product on this brush and we're smudging right here. And I think this, wow. I like this color a lot. It's a muted silver. <gasps> Yo, this color is beautiful. Oh, I did my highlight, my Rare Beauty Luminizer in the shade Flaunt. We're gonna do my lippy and it'll all look good. I am really pleasantly surprised at how good this looks. I feel like this is an everyday eyeshadow look for me. You know, because I've been wanting the eyelid to pop, but I don't be wanting it to be too crazy every day. This shade is stunning. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna use this often. Wait, where's the shade I picked? I have so many in front of me. This is Smoky Quartz. So good. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited about this. I love it. Our mercy, yay. Thank you for sending this to me. What a world. Okay, so now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna take the black shade of this eyeshadow palette and a liner brush, because I can't find an eyeliner. Okay, the one I have is, uh, is more for a waterline. I'm just gonna smudge and make a smoky, eyeliner I'm not trying to make this look perfect at all hence why I'm just putting this on roughly I just want to give a little bit of shade it just looks I want it to just look like an eyeshadow because I mean this is an eyeshadow I don't want any kind of perfection okay we could make it perfect but that's not what I want so this is smudged although this is a liner brush I just smudged this onto my eye do you see girl we are on to something with this look, what? Eyeshadow sticks are really great. Again, if you just want something easy, quick, and or you are a beginner, go ahead and get you an eyeshadow stick. All links to products I'm using are down below, by the way. And see, I don't wear silver, but I like the way this looks. I mean, in terms of jewelry, growing up I wore silver, but I don't wear silver. So it's not a shade I would choose but I like how this looks a lot. It's not too loud. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the eyeliner that I was talking about is this Rare Beauty Perfect Longwear Eyeliner. And it just goes so easily right inside here. And I'm going in the waterline and on the skin because I'm gonna smudge it a little bit. So the same liner brush that I used above my lid to smudge. I don't want perfection, I just want a smudge. You know, ooh, smoky eye. This eyeshadow shade is making me remember the counter. This is definitely a counter eyeshadow, an eyeshadow that we would have used at the counter, is what I mean, at MAC. I worked at MAC, wow, this looks great. Okay, I have two mascaras that I wanna choose. I've come girl and I have Laura Mercier. This is the Caviar Extravagant Mascara. Okay, this isn't the best mascara that I've used. It's okay though, can you see? It's just not doing anything wow for me. It's just there. 
it's dipped back in. I mean, there's some mascaras. I can use the same dip on both eyes and I am wowed. This is very subtle. So if you want a natural mascara, a little bit of volume, a little bit of length, then this is for you. All right, that was the MAC mascara that I told you that I love. And look what it did to my bottom lashes. I put on the lashes that I love to wear, so always wear what you wanna wear. I'll link these below, along with all the other products that I'm using. And then for a lip liner, let's do the Laura Mercier Caviar Perfecting Lip Liner. The shade is 03 Brown Tool. This is new. This is a nice brown. This looks like my skin tone. It is not too dark. It's great. I wish it was a twist, not a sharpen. This is good. It's like a soft brown. Lighter than chestnut from MAC. Lighter than my last is from Sephora Collection as well. Mmm, pretty. Okay, another Laura Marie. This is turned out to be a Laura Mercier full face. Ooh, almost. This is the Laura Mercier, the one I told you about in the beginning, the Caviar Smoothing Matte Lipstick. The shade is 500 Flame Chalice. Like, Gellis, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's put, ooh, I have not worn a, I have not worn an orange red in so long. Okay, so we're blending this red orange into the brown just to soften up the edges, you feel me? And it's not a full coverage lippy because you can still see my blemishes on my lip right here, which are not the end of the world, but just FYI in case you want a full, full coverage lip product. But this looks cute. Isn't it a lot? Ooh, this is my, my teeth. Certain lippies bring out your teeth looking white and certain lippies are gonna make your teeth look gray, look yellow, okay? And we don't want the yellow one. This is good, I love it. Ooh, look at my smile. <laughs> Ooh, I love this look, what do you think? Should we spray the face? I don't even feel like I need to, although I do wanna look a little dewy. I do feel dry, I feel comfortable. But I wanna make this look dewy because the eye, the frost on the eye, I feel will just look so good with a, a dewy looking face. Let's do that. I have not used this in a long time. Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I fell in love with this because of Andrea Renee here on YouTube. She stayed using this. It's been a while since I heard you use this, girl. I wonder if you still do. Let's go ahead and give this a squirt. I got my, I almost said my camera. I got my fan ready, okay? Now this normally I would do well, it's been a while. I was gonna say, when I do this without, without lashes, who knows, whatever. It sprays out very short, so you gotta go close to the face to get it. I feel like I don't have enough on this side. I mean, wanna get the eye, because I want the eye to look glowy. Look, it already looks glowy, right? Ah, oh, it looks so good. Touch of luminous dewy silk, dewy setting spray. Mm -hmm. Did I spray too much? Oh my god, I might have sprayed too much because my forehead is looking mad dewy. It is not drying. <laughs> mad oily. Oh my god, this literally leaves an oil on the face. Okay, going over my face all over again was not a good option because look at all the oil. Okay, let me just take a clean brush. And we're gonna just go like this to absorb some, not all, just some of this product. I sprayed too much, oh. And my sponge is, the bottom of the sponge has the blush on it, so I can't use that. Yeah, my face is not wet, it's just oily. <laughs> okay, don't spray as much as I did, good Lord. But if your skin is dry, you can trust that this is gonna get you where you gotta go. What? Hold on, let's just use this brush because it had the powder on it, yeah. I'm just going over places and then wiping in between because what? Yeah, the forehead is what got so oily. Okay, now it has a healthy shine, not a wild looking shine like before. My face is looking dewy. <laughs> I saw it talking to the person was like, there's a difference between being dewy and oily, yellow oily. And I'm like, ew, sit down, no one asked you, okay? All right, I feel like I, do I have a, a, a dewy setting spray for Fashion Week? I hope I do. Because the weather is a lot warmer and that means my face is gonna look a lot drier. So I need to make sure I have a dewy setting spray because I'm not playing them games, do I? Oh my God, I forgot to do my inner eye. I knew something was missing. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's take the caviar eye stick in the shade Sugar Frost. Yeah, should we do a sugar frost? Right here. I knew something was missing. Yes, right here, baby. And I'm patting it. Oh, yes. 
that makes applying this so easy and then just want to blend out any harsh lines okay now my eyes look awake <laughs> okay i gotta film and then we're headed to church tonight's a worship night so let's go okay can we talk about this mirror that i found at home goods what an awesome find this is such a good find look at this mirror so good it's humongous it looks like the mirror from where's it from that expensive mirror that cost maybe 12 1400 i forget where it's from but that looks like it anyway oh my god my pants are on backwards <laughs> my pants are on backwards wait is it backwards i think it's on backwards hold on i think it's on backwards oh my god i gotta fix it I wonder why it feels weird. Anyway, this set is Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. I like the arms. This is cute. Yo, I'm so annoyed. You gotta tie it, but of course, I mean, with one hand, how do you tie this? But really cute, comes in different colors. Okay, it's a large that I'm wearing. I don't know if this is the front. I don't really know anymore, but it can hit the floor depending on how high up you hike the waist. Okay, so yeah, if I leave right there, it hits the floor. I wish it wasn't so tight right here because when I hop up my leg, it bags up a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it just straight down anyway, so you can't even see any of the bunching. And it has a little slit at the ankle, which is cute. I did steam this, but I see that I did not steam it well. <laughs> Whatever. I like it because it has the sleeves, you know what I'm saying? A little scrunchy situation, detailing. And you can tie it like a bow or just leave it like that, like how I have it. Up looks but I feel so tired I stood for an hour and a half because how do you sit down at worship night we're coming more often we are coming every time because that was just so powerful and so so moving and just so everything wow I just just wow is what I can say we left early because just to get away from the crowd and I'm hungry it's still daylight outside which is nice to be in at 5 30 and it's now, wow, it's now 7.30. I didn't realize. I thought it would be an hour, maybe an hour 15, maybe an hour and a half max. It's two hours. Oh, they're still worshiping. They're still going, which is nice. I mean, they're going to go in, they're going to go as long as folks are there, which is great. To God be the glory. Oh, man. I, first of all, I am so tired. I'm actually hungry, but I don't have an appetite. That is odd. It has to be some food type. I also have a headache. I just remembered. Not me forgetting I have a headache. Okay, let's talk through everything. Worship is so exhausting for me because I give everything that I have. And this reminded me of when I first started serving on the worship team at Hope City. If you're new, I used to serve. And I realized that you can see my tear stream. And I remember the first day that I served, when I came home, I slept for maybe six hours. I was drained from head to toe, and I could not believe it. I could not believe it. I had given so much. And then my body got used to it, so I would still come home and feel tired, but I wasn't going to sleep for so long like that first time. Well, today's worship service, worship night, just 
again took everything I gave it didn't take it I gave you have a choice you can go there and be all dainty and whatever demure or you can really give God your all and whenever I worship it's it's everything it's all or nothing and I just knew toward the end I was so empty and I just sat down I finally sat down close to the two hours anyhow I'm here now and I'm so tired I'm so drained it is insane there was another there was another campaign that I was thinking should I film it should I not and I really don't have anything else to give and that is a great place to be because I know that I give God my everything it was so powerful in there there was a woman and other people who were around this man and you can tell that he really needed a move from God I don't know anything about what was going on but you could just tell and then people were praying over him and at some point like an hour and a half into the worship night he was on his knees his head was down and I oh my god that just that's what broke me and then hearing Lillian's story I don't know Lillian I haven't never met her in person but I just would see her on social and then when I saw her I was like she looks so familiar I was like oh my god you know she's on IG I just haven't seen any of her stuff in a very long time and hearing how she beat cancer oh my god <sighs> my whole body I worked out today my body feels like I worked out again man let me know what you do because when I worship I'm jumping I'm moving I'm I don't care about who's around me. I don't, don't ever go to church with me if you want to go there and be demure. Don't ever go to worship at night with me if you want to go there and just sit dainty. We don't do that. When I think about what, what God has done for me and what he continues to do for me, what he's brought me through, this is one song. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the lyrics. Ah, those lyrics, man, there's no time for dainty praise. I was going to say, we're going to praise and it's going to come out how it comes out and that's it. And when I worship, I sing. I sing loudly. I don't care about who's around me, okay? It's worship night. Even if it's Sunday service, I'm worshiping and I don't care. If you came to church and you came to sit next to me, get ready to worship. Otherwise, you can watch me if you want to, you know? Uh, it's I'm in the zone and I ain't got time. So I, I'm very depleted and it's time to wash this face. But yeah, I was curious to see. Uh -huh. Ooh, I got a little breakout. Asia. Gonna put my makeup, my uh, medicine on. Or... That could be from the the shave earlier today. And this pimple is still here. But yeah, I need to put my medicine on now. I mean, I've been needed to do it, but I'm just reminded. Anyway, let's get ready for bed. Again. Good morning. I am about to log on to a call right now to. Oh, you can't even see me! To talk about Fashion Week. 
me see. I have my different devices here. I got my iPad so I can actually write down immediate to-do notes. There is so much going on, so much content to film, so much planning in general. I'm excited. It's just overwhelming. I gotta return something with the earrings. Remember I showed you the earrings from Koi? I have to exchange one of them because it was broken. Hey. hey! What up? Good morning. Okay, girl, that meeting went well. <laughs> Fashion week is not going to be as hectic as I thought it was going to be. I mean, the one in February was hectic for me, and it might be because it was my first one, but maybe I don't remember. Okay, maybe I don't remember how many events I had to go to in a day. Maybe I just forgot. It has been a while. <laughs> let me let me not get out of myself. I'm so annoyed. Let me put my phone up. So I'm getting myself together because I want to do my makeup because I have tends to do what yes, yeah. I need to film today. I'm getting a late start, but... I had a busy morning and I wanted to work out and I did not get to work out. I haven't worked out in days. And I also am due to do my semaglutide injection. I was supposed to do it on Tuesday. And sometimes I do, I remembered, I was gonna say forget, but it's not I forget. I remembered, but then I got busy and then I didn't do it. And then I remembered yesterday, but then I got busy and I didn't do it. And to be honest, it's not live or die. I can do it a few days later and I mean, I'm still losing weight, so it is what it is. I'm, of course, taking pieces of paper towel because that's important. I'm exchanging the one that was here because it was dirty, so I'm putting two down. I have a towel down. From working at the counter at MAC, you always put down a Kleenex as you, at your workstation whenever you're working on somebody, and that has just stuck with me, so I do that every time. Even when I'm at a hotel, I need to put down something and set myself up, and then I take these paper towels and I strip them like this and then I cut them in half so that I have paper towels to clean my hands clean product clean the brushes just, just to have to clean I need to clean up you feel me I'm the person if I go through drive through I'm like my mom can I have more tissue yo she's she's so sick and I have more tissue <laughs> Man, funny so I like to have this next to me so that I can keep myself and my fingers clean I don't like mess at all of any kind handy oh let me not let me not cut off an eyeball, honey. So yeah, I feel a little more organized with Fashion Week, which is making me happy. And I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. I need to exchange some things. I was nervous that stuff wasn't gonna come in in time, but it's okay. And I just need to exchange some things. And I'm gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna go look at Mango and see what Mango's talking about. I don't, I think I'll be okay. Cause I also shortened my Fashion Week days. I was gonna go for five days and now I'm doing three but I'm leaving on the fourth I was gonna do six days excuse me and now I'm doing four which is cool because less days less outfits needed less heck heck I almost said neck I almost said hecticness that's not even a word less chaos you feel me so yeah I'm actually happy just in and out let's just keep this cute you feel me so yeah let's do makeup so that I can get ready Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were Lately, 
Okay, today's look is different because my eye is, first of all, it's very muted. The skin looks good. This Gucci foundation, just, just bananas, okay? The skin looks muted. The skin looks good. This House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Fire Opal looks nice as well. It's different. Remember the days of putting a highlighter on top of my face? I stopped doing that years ago. This looks pretty though. I mean, it's different. It's it's like a sunset. It's It's nice. <laughs> I like it and this lip is very comfortable from Laura Mercier I'm trying to find it 820 peach cashmere so beautiful leave a barcode right here in case you want to scan if you're watching on the television to get to my LTK to shop all these products you can also find them individually linked down below if you care to look into any of them I like this lip I like how it's a peach and I like that it's creamy it's not matte right it's a caviar smoothing matte oh it's a matte lipstick well it has a shine to it I wouldn't call this matte, I would call this satin. Huh, interesting. Good, and my usual lashes, you, you know the deal, you know the vibes. You know the vibes, you know? I would spray it, but I don't feel like I need to. The skin just looks delicious. And 